Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your reading for 2020, your love reading, okay? So please keep in mind this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone, and that's okay. You might want to check your sun, your moon, your rising sign. Now with that being said, I want to get started. So let me call in my spirit guides, my guardian angels, to guide and protect me in this reading and to let me be aware of the message being given to me. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for their highest good in love, okay? I will be pulling oracle cards as well as um, clarification. For Aquarius, or if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. Okay, let's see what's going on. Aquarius, what's going on around love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is for Aquarius. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. As I step out of my energy into the collective's energy, what is the energy for them, for their highest good? Oh, we got sister. Oh, someone is being thought of. Okay, I feel like someone is thinking of you. Aquarius, are you thinking of them? You're thinking of them, but you're not making no move. But I do feel like, you know, you are very successful. You want to be successful whenever you reconcile with them. Perhaps it's like you want to, um, or they, it's like they want to show you that they're the best. You could be dating someone who is um, a singer, someone who is in band, someone definitely in the public eye, okay? Someone could definitely be a speaker here. They, they could definitely be thinking about making an appearance to you, uh, making some sort of commitment. Um, you know, this is success, a victory. This is passion. This is love. This is joy. This is the six of wands. So this is coming over conflict, okay, healing from that. And, you know, we have the challenging. Being stuck in one's thought, in one's mind, will leave you in a situation where you could be mirroring this from this person as well. They could be mirroring it from you. Um, but there's a sense of needing to, you know, heal something between another Aquarius, either there is some sort of, wow, I see the sun card. The sun card is total energy of love. It's energy of commitment. It's energy of enthusiasm. Spirit is calling and is definitely working in your relationship towards union here. Even though you have fear behind this, um, it is challenging to, you know, it's like you can set yourself free. This is just in your head, needing to get out of your head and take action more. I see you thinking here, okay? You're thinking about your love and your passion, but if you just open your heart, okay, Aquarius, I feel that there is a sense of level of commitment here. It's like, ah, I can't hear this no more. For some of you, um, Spirit is really speaking to you strongly, um, trying to move you into the right direction. Perhaps you're just wanting to, you know, like get away from someone or you're, you're wanting to get away from conflict, and you know this. It's like you already know this. Um, and that's the fear that you have. You have the star card at the bottom, and that's definitely you. Yeah, so I'm going to put this over here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, right here is what I'm seeing. Also, um, we have Taurus energy. Leo energy, sun sign, seven of cups, looking more towards the future. You've, I feel like you have escaped a lot of situations. Um, you uncovered, you know, a lot of ground here um, because you are in perspective and you basically release the situation, you know, this is like throwing up your arms, the arms are being released, like, 
giving up, you know, not like giving up, but just giving it to God, source, the universe with the six of wands here, being very successful at that. Yeah, releasing. This is a sense of freedom. All these thoughts, all these people talking, you know, the, all this conflict. You're like, I'm going up, you know, I'm going up, I'm going up and out, right? With the hair flat and the stairs. Um, you're looking towards the future now with a sense of hope and gratification, okay? There's passion, there's joy. You can't get this person out of your head. They can't get you out of their head, okay? I feel that this person is either waiting on you or you are waiting on them. There is some sort of travel. You could be leaving someone behind as well. Or they could be leaving someone behind. This is a lot of contemplation, okay? Whether it's 13 days, 12 days, um, I'm getting transformation. I'm also getting endings, but I'm, I'm getting new beginnings with this and an enlightenment because you're taking off that mask and you're realizing that things aren't as bad as what they seem, okay? Realizing that this fear that you've been holding on to is nothing but of a past thing, okay? It's, it's a past thought that you don't have to give power to, okay? It's over with. Um, it's below you. And you're moving forward at full pace, okay? I mean, it's like the chariot cards. Like, you're leaving all this conflict behind, you know? And you're going around it all. And someone is waiting for you, or you're waiting for them. But this connection is definitely, you know who this connection is. Spirit is saying you know who this connection is, Aquarius. Um, and you're holding on tightly to your beliefs. And you're not, you know, you've been through a lot with this person as well um, as other people and within through your life, okay? But I feel like there's competition here. And... You're pulling back from this competition because, you know, you, you're you looking at things in a more um, logical way here, okay? And you feel the passion, you feel the joy in its total twin flame energy. Look at this. We have the devil, the lovers, and the ace of cups, okay? The devil, to me, is wanting a desire, feeling abundance of joy and love. There's a completion of letting one go and realizing self-love and going forward with that. I love these energies. Let's pull some more cards here. We have the Ace of Wands in the challenging position. This person is thinking of you. They get headaches sometimes. They're, they they could be all, you know, thinking, thinking, wanting. Um, it's like a telepathy. You guys are speaking to each other in the 5D. However, um, yeah, you guys are... Um, so this person wants to come through to you, but you're, you're just going, or they're just going. It's either one or the other, okay? But um, there's reconciliation here. And the reason why there is reconciliation for you is because you did the work, especially with the Hermit card here. The Hermit card is a sense of going within, secluding oneself from um, all the conflict, all the, yeah, all these people, you know, this is like, I don't want to, um, it's like saying, I don't want to be in no competition for anybody. You know, this is conflict. This is leaving conflict behind and finding that courage to balance out whether this is people or this is struggles within yourself that you're fighting. Should I go back? Shouldn't I go back? What should I do? Very confused. Okay. Guidance from spirit. Pisces energy is coming in and fixing that energy to help you move forward in love. Okay. And to find peace with that. So spirit is saying to move yourself, go on some sort of vacation and receive the light. Okay. So this is a sense of vitality. Vitality. Um, the universe wants to give to you what you have given. This is karmic, but this is good karma coming back to you. Yeah, there's a completion of conflict, which brings in the sun, okay? Um, the stagnation is brought in new colors, which is uh, the rainbow. It is 
of a heart chakra. It is of grounding one's root chakra, but yet speaking one's truth. Um, as to the hangman, a sense of new beginnings. Okay, this person wants a new beginning with you. Um, so it's like they, they've given themselves to the light. Okay, it's like, you know, I can't realize that they can't do this alone. So they, it's like calling on the universe and stepping in and knowing that, okay, knowing that the universe is stepping in and they are receiving guidance, abundance, or for some of you, you're waiting for that energy and very confused. But first you have to let something go so that this energy can come through and you know, it's rapidly telling you this over and over with this Five of Swords energy. And you know it because you see this flame. You see this flame. You're looking at your past. But you're realizing you have to let that go. And you leave it behind here with the Two of Wands. Look at this card. You know, leaving that wand behind you. But in a safe, secure place, you're looking out. Okay. You're looking out and you're thinking heavily here, but you're more within the sun because you've given, you're taking that steps to heal. Okay, Aquarius? Um, what is the hermit? Yeah, the three of wands. Receiving, waiting to receive. Made, you've made that decision. Now it's like, will I get this or will I not? Okay, um, it brings you back to a childhood moment that is really inspirational they make you feel like a child not a child it's like they make you feel like um joyful uh radiant um lively um they make you feel like you could do anything um you could also know this person for a very long time since you were a child um for some of you this is um for some of you have a pretty yellow lab here is what i'm seeing um, I'm also seeing that, you know, going to the beach surfing as well. I'm seeing flowers and messages. I'm seeing picnics. Um, you know, having a picnic in the park. I'm also seeing a sense of going to a play, going to a concert, going to um, some sort of open uh, community, something within the community. We have temperance on the bottom here. Okay, so Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with balancing out these energies that you have released to the universe, knowing that you have this calling, okay? Knowing that you had to release something or let something go, or, you know, realize that things aren't as bad as what they seem. Um, needing to balance out the strength. This is that animal instinct that we all carry inside of us. And it's like your heart chakra is totally open here. Um, you, this person could be rushing towards you or you could be rushing towards them for union. And I see resting too as well, okay? Um, and I say resting, I mean, this is like, you know, really healing together. They want to heal with you, so to say. Let's get some energies behind um, desires, fears, and the lesson learned within the relationship or the lesson being gained um, or advice. Okay, let's see how this is going to come out. Aquarius, Sun, Mars, Rising, Venus. This is a message for their highest good. Spirit guides, let's get some cards for their highest good and love. For the Cancerians. Timeless energy. Okay, like I said, we have the uh, Knight of Wands here. So fiery energy, wanting to communicate. We also have the seven of chalice, which is a long time energy of spending some time together. It's like they, they feel that they fear that the time spent together, you know, um, was slow. It didn't, it's not fast enough for you, um, but it's progressing to an eight and with that eight, there is a ladder here, but that ladder is, um, being blocked by passion and love. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. Um, let's get some clarity cards. And you're realizing that the passion has sparked within your subconscious that is bringing in your, to your conscience. Now, there's a strategy here to bring in communication to this person 
It might take some time and that's your fear because you want stability behind the fact that you guys haven't talked. Um, you don't know what's going to happen in regards to love or they don't know what's going to happen. They know that you are very special to them even though there has been a disconnect, even though there has been time apart, this person wants some sort of um, reunion here. And the death card here is about, is there a third party? Because one has to go, okay. And it's like that death card is standing out. And I see, you know, she's holding like, this staff right here and there's another foot i feel like there's someone's foot right there is in the door and it's about to get closed on um strategizing a new beginning cutting out you know magnetizing magnetizing a new beginning and this could be a sense of um fantasizing They fear that you will reject them as the high priestess, I mean, as the empress here. It's like, you know, you put a spell on me. That's what I'm hearing. It's like they have this lust and love energy for you. They want to speak to you, but it's like, for some of you, they really do have... It's like they, they're watching you from behind here. Look at this energy. They think you have a really nice ass as well, okay? as well as the Six of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So this person could be thinking of you in ways that are really um, wanting to come together and balance this out. Again, Sagittarius energy. And, you know, they want to tie the knot with you, with this three. And look at that. What is this? That's the bull card. Look. They want to start something new. In the past, there has been hurt pain as well. Um, Spirit guides, guardian angels. They want to move towards you. They fear that you will reject them. They have a lot of love and a lot of emotions. Their desires are overflowing with you. They feel that you're with somebody else and they know this. Yes, the sun is shining very brightly. It's harvest time. It's ready. They are ready to come towards you. Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles, um, working on a strategy, but yet the strategy brings in harmony, okay? This is staying in line with one's focus and thought and basically going after what they want, okay, Aquarius? Or this could be your energy towards them as well. I see nothing but good energy in this. Um, I will be pulling an angel card here for you. I see eighteen, eighteen as well. For those of you, you might want to look that up as an angel number. For others of you, this is a life path number nine. Or their life path number nine. Or however that number resonates. I'm seeing double eights here. Two eights. I'm seeing growth, new beginning, you know, this is the Ace of Pentacles is given and setting roots of intention, bringing vitality, vitality is the magician, the magician is definitely watering this new opportunity, okay, we have creative power, so creative power, oh look, and we have freedom, okay, so Aquarius, this is about freeing yourself. It's like you don't deserve this. It's like you're putting yourself away from communicating. It's like you're blocking this person. But there is, if you just communicate, Spirit is saying there's balance here. Use your creative power, okay?
ministration. So this is like, hey, okay, and then we have fiery energy. Um, and this is fire. So this is taking action, okay? So there is an angel here that is watching and watching over you, but not only watching over you, but inspiring you to basically communicate or make that move. Yeah, we have knowledge. So for some of you, this is learning something. This is knowing, uh, knowing that there has to be an ending for a new solid love and a new strong foundation. And knowing that miracles and realizing that they do happen, okay, within one's life and one's soul. And this is a sense of awakening too as well, okay? So for some of you who are going through a huge awakening, they could be going through a huge awakening, feeling that light of inspiration. I want to see um, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Let's get some cards for their person. Around love. Aquarius, Sun and Rising Venus. This is a timeless reading. Sun and Rising Venus. I am recording this in July, so take it how it resonates. Aquarius, Sun and Rising Venus. Spirit Guides. For the highest good. Okay. We have a wealthy man. Transformation number 13. Four, stable energy. Okay. Working. They could be working in a bank. They could own a bank. They could definitely be Scorpio energy. We have despair. Okay. Despair. So someone has been wealthy. Someone has been up and now they're down. Okay. So this is a sense of balance. Um, this is going through life changes. I see a dog for some of you. You have a little puppy here. Um, they wear a hat. I'm seeing work boots. I'm also seeing suits. Suits and ties here. A classy hat with a classy face. Someone needs a haircut, okay? Someone needs to really start and step up and clean themselves up so that they can manifest wealth into their life. Um, we have number 33, Sean, which is six. And it all adds up to six. So I feel like life path number six here, who look for who's ever watching. Okay, ministration. Ministering, it's like giving your beliefs, giving it that power to co-create, releasing it to the unknown, but not it's to the unknown, it's to um, your hope, okay, because you have that hope, you have that faith, and that faith is what's watering that, this ace of pentacles, you see the roots growing, it's becoming known and seen, and it will be successful, Let's get some romance angel cards for Aquarius in love. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So negativity, um, people, and the way you think, that's going to block the energies as well. So try to think positive and say positive things to yourself. Even though you see red flags, okay, um, the signs are cautioning you. Be optimistic about the situation as well, okay? So now I'm going to get one more for the red flags. Someone could be warning you. Spirit could be warning you. Spirit could be saying it's time for you to make, to take some sort of action as well. Um, to, you know, it's like brushing off the old and starting new. This is giving gratitude, expressing one's love before it goes, okay? Because um, there's a lot of passion here. All you have to do is set an intention to get to know one another. Speaking your belief and your truth brings you two closer. You guys have chemistry here. Okay, if this chemistry allows healing between the two of you. Very strong energies, you guys. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.